happy that Kyrie Irving is going to be on the basketball court. I'm ecstatic, mind you, because his absence would have cost the Brooklyn Nets a championship. I firmly believe that. And so the fact that he gets to play, I'm very, very happy. The mandate was bogus. Mayor Adams should have lifted this months ago. I don't care what he says. Uh, the Bill de Blasio administration is no longer in office. Mayor Adams is. And it should not have taken this long because the second that fans were allowed to come into the arena uh, un unvaccinated and even the player himself could come and sit in the stands unvaccinated, then Kyrie Irving should have been allowed to play, particularly when visitors could come to the Barclays Center, as Mayor Adams just articulated, and they could perform. It didn't need to take this long. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, it was a dereliction of duty up to this point that that it wasn't that it wasn't changed. Having said that, I also don't want to give uh, the NBA a pass. The reality of the situation is the best interest of the game is a clause that could have been used to mandate that folks be vaccinated. It's not a right to play in the NBA. It's a privilege. It's your league. And you have the right to invoke and implement what rules you want to. I know the Players Association was giving you resistance, although they both were supportive of players being vaccinated, although they didn't want it to be an enforceable matter. But maybe that's something that's going to be revisited with their next collective bargaining negotiations, because it should not have come to this point. With all of that being said, we all benefit, basketball lovers everywhere, because Kyrie Irving needs to be on the basketball court, even though this had a lot to do because of baseball with the Aaron Judges of the world and the Rizzos of the world and the Yankees because their brand is much bigger than the Brooklyn Nets. The bottom line is, as basketball fans, basketball lovers, we benefit from wit witnessing the greatness of Kyrie Irving. He is no hero. He is no heroine. Um, he put himself above the team, which is entirely his right. And it's understandable because we're talking about injecting something into your body, which we all understand. But at the end of the day, that don't make him no damn hero because he's not. He was willing to leave the Brooklyn Nets hand, hand, you know, hanging, if necessary, willing to jeopardize their championship hopes, if necessary, because of his individual isolated choice at the expense of his entire organization. And if that's somebody's definition of a hero, I'll just say it damn sure ain't mine. And that's where I stand with it. And I ain't backing up one bit from that position.